What's up, damn fam? We back. <clears throat> Welcome back to our channel. Um, story time slash mukbang, kind of. This is our first mukbang and or mukbang, whatever the flip you want to call it. But we got Taco Bell, and we didn't get like a bunch of food because uh, didn't really plan a mukbang. No, but. <laughs> We got our dog right here, literally right here next to us. Let me show you real quick. Literally right next to us as we're gonna eat. All right, well Dylan already started eating and we didn't even finish the intro, so. <laughs> Can you like show them what you got? Some nachos, it's a new box. With of course, the Baja du Mountain Blast. I have my AMPM soda from earlier, so. And then I got a Pindles and cheese with sour cream. Um, what is this one? A spicy potato soft taco, no lettuce. And then their new, uh, what is it called? Like loaded nacho burrito or something, right? Taco. Oh, loaded nacho taco. I've been getting these lately because they have those like spicy Doritos in them. Oh my God, the fire. Speaking of Taco Bell, though, in August, if you guys didn't know, Taco Bell is opening up a hotel in Palm Springs, and we're planning to go there, so catch that vlog in, like, August or September, if we go, because we're assuming that they're going to be, like, booked and super expensive, so, yeah, but today's story time, they didn't even give me a mother effing fork. Really, brother? I'm gonna have to go grab one. Today's story time, our first story time, is gonna be of basically kind of how we met and the juicy drama that went down <laughs> when we first met. So, where do you want to start? Um. I mean, he he's. I guess I met her through my friend or. My used to be friend, Anthony Cardoza. We don't need to say names. I'm bleeping that out. Why? Because we don't need to give out names. Why not? Because. <laughs> Anyways, I saw her and she didn't even know who I was. So I messaged her on Facebook, started talking, and then I got her number. Um, and can we just talk about what he messaged me though? I don't remember too much. <laughs> I remember. So, the first words that we actually said to each other is because his friend, that shall not be named, <laughs> he was being mean to my friend that I was best friends with at the time. And this was in eighth grade. So he was being mean to my friend at the time. And Dylan was walking with him and I looked at Dylan and I was like, why are you friends with him? And he was just like, I don't know. And then... <laughs> That was like the first time we've ever I've, we've ever talked. <laughs> then that's when he uh, messaged me on Facebook, and he sent me like this long old paragraph saying. <laughs> I don't think it was a paragraph. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> I wish I still had it. I don't think it's still on Facebook. But he basically told me that I was like the most beautiful girl that he's ever seen, and said that I was like a goddess. Goddess. Why did I feel like that? Said that I was like a goddess, and that. Um, and then you explained to me why you're friends with him, but I don't even remember what you said. But then he like asked for my number and everything, and then we started talking okay. as friends. But then what? Uh, I'm pretty sure I asked you out. I just want to say that I was really mean to Dylan in eighth grade. Choose off. Mm. <laughs> so check this out. I went and got like a rose. Mm -mm. This this was like after or after though. See, I told you, I, I don't remember much. So, I remember, as I remember, recall it, I asked her out. Yeah, we were dating we for a little dating. bit. Then I broke up with him after like a week or something. And he fought for me or whatever. She fucked up. <laughs> I did, but I didn't know it until like a year later. But basically... At the time, I was into his friend, 
and there goes the ring light. I'm like I was saying. Unfortunately, I was into his friend, and um. She was only dating me to get close to him. No. Oh, it was. <laughs> I thought like Dylan like really did catch my attention and like really did try hard to like be with me, and I like turned him down so hard. So I was like, you know what? I should give this kid a chance, and I don't. I mean, I kind of knew what it was. They just, like, did not like him. Like, he was the cockiest person that he will ever meet in the 8th grade. He's not like that anymore. But when I, excuse me, when I first met him, he was so freaking cocky, I couldn't stand it. I, like, broke up with him for, like, the last time, and then <clears throat> he dated other girls. And I, I didn't date anyone. Well, I, I dated anyone while we were broken up. Yeah, you did. Not right away. He did other people, like, we didn't talk for, like, a really long time. I don't know how I remember this. But she can't remember what we did last weekend. I was gonna say that. But then, Dylan decided he wanted to be with me again. And I think he always wanted to be with me. He just dated other girls because I didn't want to be with him. <laughs> and... You can't tell a story like that. <laughs> you gotta tell him I was dating someone else. You were. Like, what it was about me that he really liked. Like, I was so ugly in 8th grade. If I can find a picture, like, I'll insert it right here in between us. I was the ugliest person in 8th grade. <laughs> and, uh, he found out, like, <clears throat> each per the he knew, like, at least one person in each of my classes and went to them and gave them a rose and a chocolate with a note like a white rose a hershey's bar and a note and he like would write on the note something that was like i don't remember what it was like was. a scavenger hunt like each note had a clue that led her to the next person with mm -hmm. the next rose and the i next literally got chocolate. one rose each period every single class that I had. And I knew it was him, and he would always walk me from like third period to fourth period. And man, I wish that he would do things. I wish that he would do that now, <laughs> what he did then. And I wish that I was more appreciative of it because obviously I wasn't. <laughs> but I mean, look where we are now. That's besides the point. Speaking of that though, we actually had the same English teacher and his, well, I guess we're not naming names, but name that name. Uh, it was Mr. David or Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis. At the end of the day, the next morning, he like pulls me aside, like after class. He was like, "Dylan, did you like do all those roses and stuff for Alexis Diaz?" I was like, "Yeah. How'd you know about that?" He's like, "She's in my class," and I was like, "Oh no way!" He's like, "That was super like romantic and like." really creative like way to think of that and I was just like oh like thank you like I didn't think much of it then but like and then the last period I got a rose and he had told me to meet him by the baseball fields the wolf he didn't tell me the note said to meet him at the baseball field but then shit went down that day <laughs> like a lot of bad stuff happened and I never ended up going and that's when he decided like you know what fuck this girl like she had about me and I'm that's, out. That's kind of when he gave up. Well, that is when he gave up, and that was like the, ed, the end of eighth grade year too. So the whole summer went by. And I was a hoe. We didn't talk. Nothing. Oh, we talked a little bit. I started dating this other guy, and we t like during the summer, basically, like the end of the school year. I started dating him, and we were together all summer. And bro, look what you did. Frick. All right, that's gonna be there, but whatever. So, we hung out a little bit in the summer, and then freshman year started in high school. And first day of school, going to fifth period, I'm standing outside of the class to see if any of my friends are in that class. And what do you know, Dylan walking down the hallway, he's like, hey, Alexis, you have this class? And I was like, yeah. He was like, me too. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So then uh, we like went into the classroom and I sat like on the complete opposite side of him and I like sat by someone else and Dylan was like, 
you really gonna go sit over there with him? <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. So like, <laughs> I like got up and like sat next to him. But then we ended up having like a assigned seat, so that yeah, was pointless. Yeah, we moved anyways. Yeah, but um. And when we got assigned seats, I got sat like right behind my girlfriend at the, at time. the time. Um. Like she had that class too. I didn't know that was his girlfriend. I didn't know they were dating at the time. She knew. And then I ended up breaking up with the guy that I was with because I wanted to be with Dylan now. Like, I saw him freshman year, and I was like, he glowed up, and he was looking fine as fuck, and I was like, damn, I want him again. <laughs> but, um, I ended up breaking up with that guy, and then proceeded to, like, try to... And that was a whole thing, too. Like, we could go into some tea about that. Like, I don't mean to cut you off, but, like... That's for another video. But, like... He would. He was trying to do some shady shit, yeah. like because I claiming to expose her and yeah. like finding nudes of girls and like claiming it was her that she sent it to him, like, and saying like, "Oh, I have her nudes," and like trying to pass her nudes around like the whole school. Like that was wild. Yeah, I remember since we were freshmen, we had this um, assembly, and I didn't know anyone in my fifth period except for Dylan. I mean, I knew other people, but I didn't talk to anyone because I was very antisocial and I like kept to myself I barely had any friends and I still barely have any friends so, like weather's changed but um so I was like I went with Dylan I was like I'm gonna sit with you because I don't know anyone else in this class and he was like okay and he didn't sit with his girlfriend so obviously she I didn't, like went to go sit I with didn't her friends know. or something like that at the time like, yeah his girlfriend at the time was a cheerleader so she actually you know what she was in the rally it wasn't it a was rally like... it was an assembly me and Dylan sat next to each other and to this day, my pet peeve is still, like, shaking your leg. It's annoying as fuck. And Dylan was sitting there like that, but, like, shaking the fuck out of his leg. And so, that's, like, I don't know. This is, I feel like this is when I started catching feelings because me and Dylan were kind of, like, talking. Because she touched me for the first time. I did. I did. He was shaking his leg, and I, like, I, like, grabbed his leg like this. Like, let me see your arm. I grabbed it like this, and I was like, can you stop shaking your leg? And I, like, squeezed his, like, knee like that. And then, um, he was, I don't even remember what you said, but I just remember doing that. She felt. <laughs> oh my god so i was like i was like can you stop shaking your leg and i like kind of squeezed it and his girlfriend at the time whatever she was sitting behind us and i did that and if anyone ever did that to my man in front of me like i would have like what the fuck are you doing to my man you know even if i was a freshman in high school like i was still the same way i'm a very jealous type but uh she didn't say anything but then when we were exiting the theater he like went up behind her and like grabbed her and i was like <laughs> what the fuck like i was caught off guard like even even some other people were like whoa like nobody knew that they were dating <laughs> i was like what the fuck so i kind of like backed off a little bit and then he ended up breaking up with her and that's how we got back together <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah at taco bell too yeah. Funny enough that we're talking about it and eating oh Taco Bell because I asked her out inside of a Taco Bell. Literally. In freshman year. There, there's a Taco Bell literally like right down the street from our school and we walked there. After school. After one day. school. And that's where he asked me out. <gasps> oh my god, baby, this is meant to be. <laughs> that's so weird that we're eating Taco Bell. I didn't even think of that. And that was like three years ago. Three? <laughs> That was four years ago, Dylan. Yeah. That was almost six years ago. <laughs> no, it was not. Get out of here. <laughs> I haven't been with you for six years. Shut up. <laughs> Let us know if you want more story times from us. We have a lot of juicy information, but we don't know if we want to put it out there. I got some you guys crazy want stories, it. too. Yeah. So. More Dylan than me, but for now, we're going to end it here. We're going to cuddle and watch some movies. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Um, Down below. But uh, do you guys want to say hi to our dog real quick? We'll say bye. Thank you, baby. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. We love you. Peace. Peace. <laughs>